man, phones, social media was just blowing up this morning with everybody asking me about my take on this. Let me give you my take. I will be on Blaze later. I'm pretty sure that'll be a segment. We can't not talk about it. Uh, but I know there's so much I want to say, but I'm probably going to forget some things. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, man, check this out. For those that don't know, the interview with Charlemagne that was done by way of Joe Biden. And he was talking to Charlemagne, who was it, Hot 96. What does he do? Um, Breakfast Club is the name of it. I think it's radio show. And I'm guessing this was a part of it. And I'm not going to show the clip because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Definitely with YouTube. is very questionable monetization as of lately. But this article does capture what he says. So... He says it's a long way until November, Charlemagne says. And then Joe Biden responds, <laughs> you've got more questions? Well, I'll tell you what. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, you ain't black. I'm going to repeat that one more time because, yeah, this man just said that. He said, you've got more questions. Well, i tell you what. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. And he was saying, he responded that basically I don't have, it, it don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with the fact that I want something for my community. Um, so it's this whole, they do this every single election cycle, man, where they pretend, definitely the last one, where they pretend like, oh, we, or we're going to support this guy or not. Uh, and then they end up supporting, of course, the Democratic nominee. But this is a bizarre response from him. Well, we can't say it's bizarre. I guess it's how he truly feels. But so many angles I want to take. This is how he views it. Uh, we can't keep making excuses for him. I know people think he's a senile old man, but this is who he is. And I don't think this is a gaffe. I think this is what he truly believes. And he thought he was saying something witty there. And basically, Hey, I'm the, this is what candidates do around election times. And it's like, Hey, I am the, I am the, the person to support. If you are a black person, it's just way he, the way he phrases it, throw through people off, even, of course, people that plan to vote for him. But that's been their approach, the Democratic Party's approach, certainly where they think that they own the vote of black folk. They think they inherit it. And to be fair, the people you have 90 percent, you know, of the black people that are voting, voting for that particular party or you know, voting for the Democratic nominee, got a point you know as far as expecting that vote now to me i would think you think that was insulting because he they're saying that it, it, it's it's clear and obvious um and you are somehow like an unauthentic black person if you don't support him now this is something that i've heard among my you know in my own experience and I'm not a Trump supporter. Y'all know I don't. Trump's a sucker. You know, I, I don't. I, that, that's not. I, I don't support anything. Uh, I don't support him. I don't support the Republican Party. I don't support the Democratic Party um, and, and so forth. And there's uh, no chance in hell I'd vote for either one of them because y'all know where I'm at. Go look at my videos where I talk about my voting habits or lack thereof. <laughs> <laughs> and why I choose not to. I'm pretty sure there's someone that's going to lecture me about that in the comments section. Oh, you want the left to win and the other side says, oh, you want Trump to win. And then they try to play. It's funny how when folks want you to support that candidate, they try to play on a libertarian position that they don't ever adopt anywhere else where they, they'll trash libertarianism. And they'll be all like, oh, well, the, the left is, like this is right here from Republicans, the left is, if, if, if he wins, you, he's going to, work towards communism or something like that. 
uh, which is a libertarian. And then the other side's like, well, you want if you want Trump to win, that's not a libertarian. It's like, dude, neither one of you clowns are libertarians. Okay, but nonetheless. I know the the main conversation here is that this is uh, this points out a larger problem, and the fact that that party thinks they inherit your vote um, because they do in some cases when you put it to task. And I think the part that probably rubs a lot of people wrong the wrong way is the unauthentic black person element of it, where you're saying you ain't black. This is something like I've mentioned. I've heard from white leftists. I've heard from black leftists, where. I, and I don't even for support Trump. That was the point that I was making earlier before I went on that tangent. It's, to be honest, it's if you don't support their candidate. So if you are a black non-leftist in this in this context, it doesn't matter if you're supporting Trump. Because like I say, I've, I don't know, come out with so many different videos, come out with so many different uh, positions, articles, and write-ups, and so forth, and being very critical of Donald Trump. And hell, through the first, I remember the first election cycle, uh, well, this recent one, uh, when Trump won, when, when I'm, our top selling merch backwards, my band, was the one with Trump and Hillary and they had X's on their face. And this is, you know, anyway. But unfortunately, a lot of people think that. Blackness is synonymous to leftism. It's it's synonymous to voting for Democrats. And if you definitely if you support the opposition, but really what it is is if you don't support their candidates, then they feel as if you are an unauthentic black person. Um, I've been called all sorts of names and so forth. And again, it all stems from the idea that that I do not support Democrats. Um, I've heard it from white leftists. I've heard it from black leftists. And I would think that these folks would expect more of them. And I'm not going to play this whole Democrat. I hate that whole Democratic plantation. I hate that analogy. It's stupid. But they do feel as if they inherit your vote. And they think that you really don't have agency more so that you, you're not authentic. And what it is that you are, because they feel as if there's they have monopoly on on on, on what is black, and this is a, an approach, unfortunately, that plagues a lot of black folks. This isn't just Joe Biden. I mean, he's saying what they've been basically probably mumbling under their breath for the longest is all he said. But you should want more for yourself, and it's more to blackness than being a Democrat or being a leftist. And the fact that you have no agency um, and it robs you of the agency and you don't treat black folks like they're individuals is an issue that a lot of black folks, even themselves, have this approach. And they may not even realize it. You know, it's just I'm, I'm blackity black all the time. And then it's like come the election, it's whoever the Democrats throw at you, you support. Um, and anybody that doesn't support you that has your skin color, especially if they support your opposition, then there's something wrong with them as if, and, and it's funny because white folks aren't on our, are, are on our for that, that sort of same critique, right? They can vote for whoever they want and it's just what white folk do. Um, but in the event that you support another candidate or a philosophy that is not either, either leftism um, and economics, social issues or so forth, or it's definitely when it comes to Democrats, then you are an unauthentic black person. I think this is hopefully as blunt as he put it, which sounded very bad when he, if you actually watched the video, it sounded crazy that he said it. But, and it ain't even to be fair to Joe Biden, as loony as I think he is, this has been the approach of his party for a very long time. And it ain't just exclusive to like white leftists such as himself. Now we could go all in a day, all, it's funny, he mentions like his record uh, in, the, in the video. But it's not a very good record when it comes to black issues. However, it's like a how dare you even consider not supporting these candidates. This is how they feel about you. And this is why, and I've long talked about this for for years, really, and how I think there's two issues here, right? One, 
is that you show that these guys don't have to do anything for you because they guarantee your they guarantee your vote. Like it's the only voting block of when it comes to a voter demographic that votes 90% for for a party in terms of the people that do vote. Obviously this doesn't include the black people that don't vote. Um, but when it comes to the ones that vote 90%, that's that only only group that does that for one party. And they come out on the other side including y'all beloved half black president uh, Barack Obama, you get nothing out of it, really. You get nothing. You get absolutely nothing out of it. It's all a show. And that's because they feel like they inherit your vote regardless, and there's nothing that they have to do for you. The other side of that is that s- expecting them to do something is, is, is probably the larger issue here um, and thinking that these guys have to move their, move your world for you. Um, and I don't what color they're associated with is irrelevant to me in that regards, um, you know. But this is bringing about a larger issue that I hope people now, especially even you know the black Democrats or people that had that were going to support him, look at it as this is y'all's former VP, you know, right hand man of uh, of of your beloved half black president that you guys ran and raved about stay, say that you still want to be a president. This is how they view you guys. This is how they view your voter block. This is how they view, view you as a as a, uh, a, a race or ethnic group or, or what have you. It's that you are an unauthentic, because they, they associate blackness with being a leftist, with being a Democrat. Now, how we got to that point, probably a conversation that we need to have for another video, but that's just what it is. That's how they view. That's how that's it. It's not only, again, it's not exclusive to Joe Biden. And I'm not going to allow people to try to make it that way. What he said was crazy, and we can hold his feet to the fire in terms of what he said. But to act like what he says is news, that's been the, the, the approach of this party for a very long time. Well, that's how they feel. It's if you don't support me, or especially if you support the opposition or even thinking about it, then there's no way that you can be an authentic black person. You're not black. Because if you were black, you'd be supporting me. Is how they view it. And it's insulting. But this is not new. It's not news. So I'd hope people reanalyze their, 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 their voting habits. Because he came out and said it very bluntly. Or not bluntly, it's more pretty direct. And you can call it a gaffe, but that's what he believes. I believe that's what he believes. What, what, what you're getting with Joe Biden is what you get. But I hope people reanalyze the situation. I've never once told people who to vote for. I think you're you're maybe silly for voting um, altogether, or especially for either of these candidates. Um, however, <laughs> I know this sounds almost like I, I was a hypocrite there. Uh I don't associate your blackness with your voting habits. Like, you, 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 it's something you could not control. You were born that way. And I understand what the, what the, what the culture tends to lean, lean towards. I understand that. Um, but I don't associate blackness with voter habits, right, at all. Like, it's, it's, it's a silly thing to measure, and it really limits agency of black people it limits the creativity of black people. It, it eliminates the that that we are individuals at the end of the day, just like every other race, uh, just like every other human being. And you can make preferential decisions or decisions based on your preferences. And voting ha- is not to be associated with how much fucking melanin is in your skin. It's stupid. But that's, unfortunately, from a cultural standpoint, where we're at. You can be mad at Joe Biden. What he said was blunt in terms of uh, when you look at it definitely on paper, like in the article, for example, that I that I read to you. It seems as if like it sounds very bad, but to act like that position is new is intellectually dishonest. Now, you can make the argument that there's folks on the other side that um, 
that um, when I say other side, I mean like maybe more black conservatives that feel a certain way in that regards, more so in a similar regards. Um, but as like you should not be supporting that party, you should support theirs. My position has always been expecting any of these crooks to move your world for you to do something like Charlemagne saying, um, that's what you're going to do for your community. They're not going to do nothing for your damn community. And this is what kills me about these, these black leaders and they're coming around. They saw P Diddy do a video where we're holding our vote because, and I understand that, but the fact that you guys sit up here and try to say who's going to do the most for us and that's who we support it's going to be the death of your community if it hasn't already. Because these crooks ain't going to do nothing for you. Or it'd be very minimal in terms of what you could do for yourself. Looking at politicians, looking at government officials and so forth has ruined so many communities. Black and other races, white, what, what have you. Running them bad boys into the fragrant ground because people are looking to um, the state, dare I say, to assist them. When quite often it is the state being utilized to destroy them. But they only gain that power because you are under the expectation or under the, well, yeah, let's call it what it is. It's an expectation that they are supposed to do something for you. So they campaign, they run on these different platforms, screaming and yelling about what they are going to do for you. Easy sale. And you support them in the event that you feel like, oh, he cares so much about me. This politician cares so much about me, cares so much about my people. And then you get nothing out of it. Two to four years, you repeat. You see the problem here? This is why I'm not saying go support the other party because I don't think they're going to do anything for you either. But the core issue is that you shouldn't expect them to. But be mad at Joe Biden all you want. That's how he feels. But it's not news.